morning everybody it's Brett here Lionheart84 and I'm just doing a quick video on my first Jeremiah flower I'm trying to get it to focus a little bit better it's not easy inside oh there we are it's a little bit better um, now this is a seed growing Cherimoya. Um I was trying to work out how old the plant is. I'm not actually sure. I was thinking I'd only sown it from seed about four or five years ago, but now I'm kind of starting to wonder if I started it at my last house, which mine means it could be six or seven years old. I've got three I've grown from seed, and they got up to about, I suppose they reached about seven or eight feet tall, <clears throat> and I've cut them back to about five or six feet now they've several times before started to produce flower buds and then uh, as soon as they've got to about half an inch long the flower buds have fallen off probably normally dependent on the time of the year this is the first one that's made it as far as as far as flowering now this flower is in the female stage um, that's when the petals are still fairly uh, fairly closed and if you had pollen at this time this is when you'd be able to pollinate it but obviously as I've only got one flower um, there's no likelihood of having pollen and then within a couple of days the flowers will open further um, and then they become male and the uh, they start to drop pollen but by then the female parts no longer uh, receptive so you can't actually pollinate these on the same flower you need another flower that's maturing a little bit later to be able to uh, to pollinate it. Now this is the first flower I've had on a cherimoya for about 30 years. Now that might sound a bit bizarre. I haven't had plants for 30 years that have never flowered. About 30 years ago I was growing one, which I grew from a seed in my parents' greenhouse, and it got to about for maybe five feet tall and started to flower but unfortunately it was coming into winter and I was extremely inexperienced in those days and uh, uh, I as a combination of over watering the plant and and cold weather and unheated greenhouse the plant died shortly after it had flowered so um, this is the first time I've had flowers on one of my cherimoys in 30 years as I said this is a seed growing one seedling grown so um, even if it I had more flowers and could be cross pollinated I doubt if at the moment the stems are big enough to support fruit this one's about um, this is between five and six feet tall this is our my smallest one but this one's sort of um, been pruned in more of a goblet shape so um, Hopefully it's going to form a nice uh, framework if I can keep it alive. But I just thought I'd show people that's my first ever cherimoya flower on one of my seed-grown cherimoyas, or at least the first one I've seen on one of a homegrown plant for 30 years. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, by all means, please do share the video if you think anyone's interested. Please remember to hit that like button. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, if I'm growing anything that might be of interest to you. And obviously if you hit the bell, you'll be up, you'll be informed about any videos I put in the future. Brett out for now. Catch up with everyone soon.